The chapter that I'm presenting on is chapter 6, which is the coordinated management of meaning, and I chose to focus on the logical force, which is um, something that's mentioned halfway through the book. And the book describes it as the moral pressure or sense of obligation a person feels to respond in a given way to what someone else has just said or done. And I had no choice response, if you want to call it that. To me, this means that some of our responses are forced out by what we are hearing from the other person. Um, and the logical force happens to everybody, whether we like it or not. And one time I was in an argument with my mom about whether or not I was going to watch their dogs and their house while they were going to Disney for vacation after my sister graduated from high school. Um, I had not planned on going on this trip because I was in the middle of an internship and I couldn't take the time off and she took this as, oh, well, I have a free like house sitter and free dog sitter. Um, but nowhere in the middle of this conversation did she ever ask me to do it. She just kept telling me that I was going to watch the house and I was going to watch the dogs. And I'm a person that doesn't like to be told what to do, um, especially as I don't live in that house anymore. Uh, I got very mad at her during this conversation, and I essentially told her to F off. Um, but that came out of my mouth before I even realized that I was saying it. And I think the logical force makes us say things we want to say, but don't have the ability or the conscious to say them. Um, but in the aftermath of what I had said, we were both shocked, and she could not comprehend what I had just said to her, because I'd never spoken to her like that in my life. Um, all she heard were the harmful words and phrases that I'd said, and didn't comprehend that I did not mean them at all. Um, but I think from this conversation, we learned a few things. I learned that I need to filter what I have to say. Um, and not just spew things that are in my brain whenever I'm mad or in the heat of an argument or whatever. Um, and she learned that she should just take some conversations and put them into context and not overreact because she's a very overreactive person. Um, but I also think that the logical force forces us to say things to people either intentionally to hurt them or intentionally to help them. Because I know in some situations you could have a come to Jesus meeting with one of your friends and you tell them all the things that they're doing wrong in their life, but you say it because you care about them. And that's, um, to me, that's what the logical force is also. So in conclusion, the logical force is the obligated response a person gives in a conversation. In the heat of an argument or a moment, you can say things that you didn't mean or that you didn't mean to say, you might have meant them, but you didn't mean to say them. Um, or you can intentionally say these things to get your point across or to hurt the other person or um, to s make them see your stance on the situation at hand. Um, so basically, be careful what you have to say because words can hurt no matter if you meant to say them or you didn't.